Hey friends, welcome to the video. My name is Amanda. I'm a first year vet student and this video is all about my reaction to getting accepted to my dream vet school. I just had a really exciting anniversary. Pretty much a year ago today, I got an email from OVC and this was my acceptance email into the program. And I'm a very sentimental person. I like looking at pictures. I like looking at videos. So I'm really sad that I didn't document anything from the day that I got accepted into OVC. I would say that that day is probably top five on my list of happiest days of my life. And really the only thing I have to remember it is my acceptance email and I changed my status on Facebook from going to school at the University of Guelph to starting school at OVC. So I thought I would make this video kind of going through my reaction to when I got accepted to OVC because I really wish I would have either like recorded my reaction or recorded my friends and family's reaction because like I said, it was honestly the happiest day of my life. And even just like reading the email, I get really nostalgic and I just feel really happy because all of my years of hard work had finally paid off. So I thought I would put my excitement and my feelings into this video while it my feelings into this video. Well, anyway, I'm gonna tell you guys about my reaction to getting accepted to vet school and then I'm gonna post it on the internet and it'll be there for forever and then I can look back and I can watch this video and feel happy every single time I need to pick me up. So if you like this video or you wanna see more videos about my vet school journey, please like this video and subscribe. It means a ton to me and you guys can follow my vet school journey. Oh, also I'm repping my class merch today. Um, my class is the Opal Otters, so our class mascot is an otter, and I thought I would just, you know, rep my merch today. Okay, so jumping right into the story time. So I need to go back a little bit before I got accepted into vet school because the first piece of good news that I got was actually that I was invited for an interview. How OVC works is they rank all of their applicants based on marks and the top 200 marks get invited for an interview. So this is kind of like the first step in the acceptance process. So I found out at the end of April that I got invited for an interview and for me, this was a huge step because I had applied to OVC the year before and I didn't even get invited for an interview. So just getting an interview was such a huge accomplishment for me. And I remember just like calling all my friends and family being like, I got an interview, like I didn't get in, but I got an interview. I remember being super pumped about that, but then it kind of kicked in to me being like, oh crap, now I have to like prepare for this interview because it's great that I got an interview, but it's gonna suck if I get an interview. And then in a couple weeks, I get an email being like, we're sorry, you were okay, but you didn't get accepted to vet school. Anyway, so I had my interview about two weeks after I found out that I got the interview. I felt like the interview went pretty well. I also knew that my marks were on the lower end of that 200 group that gets an interview. So I knew I had to do really well on my interview if I wanted to be accepted into OVC. But I also kind of had the mindset that it was going to depend on how everyone else who had higher marks than me did on their interview. So I remember going in and I wasn't super stressed the day of my interview, which was nice. But I was almost like, I can only do the best that I can do. And me getting accepted to vet school is really gonna depend on how a lot of other people do on their interviews, which is kind of a weird mentality to have because I like to be the one in control of my fate. I like to be the one in control of like my vet school acceptance. And I remember going in being like, I could get 100% on my interview, but also if every single person who has a higher mark than me also gets 100% on their interview, like mathematically, I just can't get in. So I think that kind of took some nerves off in a weird way. The one thing that did happen the day of my interview though, that did not go as planned was I woke up in the morning and I started getting ready for my interview and I had my interview outfit like put together and I look out the window and it is pouring rain outside, like torrential downpour. And I had I just moved into a new place in Guelph. So I was like still unboxing all my stuff and I could not find an umbrella to save my life. Like it was nowhere. Honestly, I'll be completely honest. I don't even know if I own an umbrella, but I looked and I could not find an umbrella and I'm panicking because I just did my hair. I just did my makeup. I'm wearing a white collared shirt under my blazer. And I'm like, oh my gosh, if I have to walk from the parking lot to the building where my interview is in, in the pouring rain, this is going to turn into a wet t-shirt contest and I am gonna cry. By some miracle, the second that I parked in the parking lot by the building, it stopped raining. And I was like, okay, good sign number one. So then I get to the building where I'm doing my interview and I walk through the doors and I'm like, 
okay, take a couple deep breaths before you walk to the interview room, just compose yourself. And one of the girls that I actually went to school with in undergrad was walking by with her service dog and she was like, oh, you look kind of nervous, like, do you want to pet my dog? And I was like, yes, I want to pet your dog. And then I was like, wow, sign number two that today is going okay. So anyway, I did my interview, I thought it went really well. I actually might make a video of my interview process because while I do believe that my interview went well and I did pretty good on it, it did not go how I planned it. Like there was a lot of things that happened that I was like, ooh, probably should have prepped for that a little more. So I think I'm gonna do a video just talking about my interview process because I could literally sit here and talk for a long time about it, but that's not what this video is about. So anyway, I was the very first day of interviews. So from the time I did my interview, I had to wait about three weeks before I found out if I got accepted or not. And typically the acceptance letters go out on the same day every year. So I knew in my head that May 28th, I was probably going to get an email and it was either going to be really good or it was going to be really bad. What actually happened is I was working at the University of Guelph as a research assistant and I'll be honest I was so busy that day with setting up for the trial that I didn't even realize what day it was. I didn't know that it was May 28th. So I went about my day like not expecting anything. People had been asking me like oh have you heard anything yet and I was like no nothing yet but you know hopefully soon. Little did I know. It was the end of the day, I was like packing up my bag, getting ready to go home. And the professor that I was working under, my advisor, came by and she was like, oh, do you wanna just show me kind of what you guys did today? And I was like, yeah, sure. I show her all the work that we were doing and I feel like a buzz in my pocket. So I didn't really think much of it. I'm like still talking to her and then I get another buzz like right away. And I'm not a very popular person. Like I don't tend to get a lot of emails at one time. When I felt that second buzz in my pocket, I was like, I think that's what I think it is little bit of backstory. If I didn't get into vet school, I wasn't sure what my plan was going to be for the year after. I had already graduated from my undergrad degree, so I wasn't sure if I was going to go back to school and do a master's program or if I was going to take a year off and just work for the year if I didn't get in. So the prof that I was working under for research, she had told me that if I didn't get into vet school, I was welcome to come do a master's with her. So anyway, that's the backstory going back to the acceptance story. I click the most recent email and I see that it's from OBC and it's literally a one line email saying, you got this mark on your interview. And I'm like, okay, that's good I think. Like that's a pretty good mark. What does this mean? Like, did I get in? What, do you, what am I supposed to get from this email? So I go back to my email home screen and I see that I missed an email that was sent before my interview score. The title of the email is Congratulations. This is the email. This is the email I've not only been waiting three weeks for, but that I've been waiting to get since I wanted to be a vet. So I'm like, okay, do I click it? I think it's probably good because they're telling me congratulations, but also like, do I want to click it right now? Because if I don't get in, I might cry in front of my prof. So my prof like looks over. I don't know what I looked like, but I obviously looked concerned enough for her to be like, what's wrong? Like everything okay? And I was like, oh, I just got an email from OVC. And she's like, okay, read the email. So I like read it again and it said, congratulations, Amanda Thompson, you've been accepted into the Doctor of Veterinary Medicine program at OVC. So the second time I read it is when everything sunk in and I was like, holy crap, I am going to be a vet. And I remember telling my prof being like, I got accepted, like I got in. And the very first thing she said was, oh, does that mean you're not gonna do your master's program with me? And I'm like, oh no, sorry, I'm not. Like, I'm gonna go to vet school. And then she was like, oh, that's too bad. But congratulations. <laughs> she was super excited. She gave me a hug and she was like, okay, you know what? Just go like get your stuff. Go call your family and friends. Like, we'll look at this stuff tomorrow. So there's me. I'm like literally hyperventilating at this point because I'm so excited. So I'm like running up the stairs. Mind you, our office was on the fourth story of the building. And the elevator is this ancient elevator that I try to avoid at all costs. So I'm like running up the stairs and I am so out of breath. I get to the office and there was no one there. Everyone else had gone home. And I sat there for a little bit just kind of thinking to myself how far I had come from the time I started my undergrad. You guys know I've talked about it in previous videos, but I have said from the time that I was six years old that I wanted to be a vet. This email was a long time coming and it wasn't an easy journey to get to that point. And I was like trying not to cry because I was like, okay, this is like, this is supposed to be a happy moment. And even though they were tears of joy, I was like, I don't want to cry right now. It was a very overwhelming feeling and it was a feeling of relief because 
I had stressed about what I was gonna do if I didn't get into vet school because I did not have a plan B. Being a vet is the only thing I've ever wanted to do and to get that email, to get that confirmation, to say you're accepted, like you're into the program, this is the first step in you becoming a vet. I can't even explain the feeling to you. I kind of get emotional talking about it right now just because it wasn't easy. I struggled a lot in undergrad with my marks in first and second year. I applied to vet school in my third year and I got flat out rejected, like didn't even get an interview. So reading that email a year later to see how far I had come from first year, not even from first year, but like all the way back from high school, like telling my profs in grade nine that I was gonna be a vet to sitting in an office reading the email that was pretty much the start to my four year journey to becoming a vet is the most surreal experience I think I'll ever have. And to this day, like that moment opening that email, like I said, is top five best days of my life, hands down. So the news had finally sunk in and I was like, okay, like I have to call people. My family was waiting for my call for that day because they knew it was either gonna be like really bad news or it was gonna be good news. First person I called was my boyfriend and I remember picking up the phone and just being like, I did it, I got in. He was so excited. My cheeks literally hurt because I'm smiling so much in this video. So yeah, I called my boyfriend and then I called my parents and I told them that I got in. My dad cried. I called my sister and she also wants to go to med school. So she was super happy. Once I had called my parents and my sister, I called my grandparents and my grandpa picks up the phone and I was like, hey pop, I just wanted to let you know that I got accepted into vet school. And his reaction, I think to this day is still probably my favorite reaction. And he goes, well, yeah, I knew you would. <laughs> And I was like, well, I am glad you knew because I did not. I had my doubts. I thought maybe this was not gonna happen, but thank you for believing in me. That is one thing I have to say is that my support system was unbelievable going through this entire process. My family and friends have stood by me from the very beginning. And honestly, I think have believed in me more than I believed in myself at times. They have stood by me and they have been the biggest blessing because this is a competitive process, it's a competitive field, even being in vet school I'm experiencing all these challenges that I didn't even think about and having that support system behind me has just been the biggest blessing. I honestly give them so much credit because from the time I was very young, I had so many people in my life who reached out and were willing to let me learn, who took me under their wings at clinics and showed me the ropes of what it was like to be a veterinarian. Or just my family for just being so supportive and sticking with me through all the highs and all the lows because as many highs as there were, there were also many lows and I just feel so lucky to be in the position that I'm in surrounded by the people that I'm surrounded by because I genuinely get to live out my dream every single day and the day that I got accepted just fueled this fire in me to want to be the best vet that I can be. So yeah, that's kind of my reaction to getting accepted into my dream vet school. For me, like I would not change my application process. I think I needed to get rejected the year before to work even harder the next year for my application. I feel like I learned so much from it. I do want to give a massive shout out to every single person who has ever told me that they would bring their pet to me when I graduate. Every single person who has just been supportive from literally the time I was a little kid up until now. I would not be sitting where I am today in the program of my dreams without you. I hope you know how much your support and your love throughout the years has meant to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you liked following along on this journey with me as I recreated it for you. Let me know if you guys are going through the process, if you're waiting to hear on an application, if you found out you got in, let me know and we can celebrate together. If you guys have absolutely any questions about vet school, about the application process, feel free to leave those down below too. I will do my best to answer any questions that you guys have. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.